Yeah, tell us another! Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. A place of mystery, wonder, and a temple to a hidden god. The guardian of this temple was a proud man, kingly in nature, but not in fact. A protector of holy wisdom. And this protector had a wife, a scholar, who spent her days reading ancient tombs and deciphering the secrets of the desert. Together they had a son, in whom they hoped to instill all their skill and knowledge. The boy was to be a union of their love. But then it came to pass that the king of that land arrived to seize the temple for himself. The protector resisted. In the battle that followed, the boy was killed and the temple was taken. Struck with grief, the protector and the scholar separated. A king who kills a child is an ergi. They should kill him back. Indeed. But for a long time, the protector and the scholar followed solitary paths, seeking for a way to revenge their son. But in their isolation, they found only anguish and pain. Alone, they could do nothing but weep and thrash at the fates. After many fruitless years, they came together again to mourn their failure. They embraced as they had in their youth. And in that joining, they realized what was missing. Only the union that had produced their son would lead to their victory. So the protector taught the scholar to fight and ride and seek while the scholar taught the protector wisdom and deep knowledge. As they trained and studied, they became inseparable, moving, eating, sleeping as one. They were never seen apart. Until one day, they met upon the river's edge. They had learned all they could. Her from him, him from her. It was here they kissed and separated. She traveled east. He West. They were never seen again. It is said, however, that once every year, two eagles would return to that very spot to linger and look upon the sea. The people of the region like to see these eagles, for they are an omen, a symbol of protection. They turned into birds, like Loki became a salmon. Perhaps. Still, others say that the eagles were their children, born of a love that could never endure. But who is to say for sure? A stirring story. Fanciful, but sincere enough. Me? Fanciful? All of my stories are perfectly and mostly true. Salutations! Have you got a contract for me? My agents are not meant to undertake these tasks. But you... You are more perilous. Remember, this person needs to be dead dead. Not dead adjacent. Fully dead. Odds are, the target is dead. But just think of the reward while you work. Keep you motivated. What do you have today? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. You go on, I'll still be here. Good day!
Grandi, take a break. Let's make for Granderbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Stretch your legs and fill your lungs. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Granderbridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Oh my brother! Die! What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grandebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by... And here we are. Welcome to Grandebridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. Is that Evo I see? It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. Randy, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randy. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Voda. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? 
Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. They could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said. East of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Ranvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. <laughs> Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There. The bandit camp. All right. Stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. You wanted to do this in secret. You seemed hot for a battle, so here we go. to deliver Magni his horse. That was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the...
You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink. To celebrate our victory. At home, Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor, over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. Anymore and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. <sighs> Randy. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? 
Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me, a desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma, was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you... Look there! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. <gasps> you climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior, a Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. You can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, 
I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. I am honored by your feelings, Ranvi, but I value you as a friend. I hope that does not disappoint. It is my highest praise. Of course. Thank you. I do apologize. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Return to the settlement. See. Your time in Midgard is over now.
came creeping. He tore a man in two. Then Woden took nine glory twigs. Is this a prayer, an offering, or a final vestige of your oath? <laughs> Only a charm I never finished. Guards here are vigilant. Go, my eyes.
You have my thanks, Ravenbearer. Stretch your wings sooner. Let's be fierce, dirty, strike at my balls. Eli, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I'll be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace, ever since we captured his sniveling brother Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapishire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Deolov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It's a grave thing to be Elderman in a time of war, Chelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well, but with humility. Rodri is a king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That's not a recipe for a good parlay. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eifor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. 
But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? <sighs> My brother. He padded. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your way. Our Bishop Dealarv and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they're all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealarv, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. <laughs> Captain Aeneo, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Now's not the time for keeping grudges. We're here to smooth a path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Abkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? me. Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. 
Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will become available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. You are Guriad, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises. But I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shirovshire. And never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Take the silver. Depose your brother and you'll rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I should report what I know to Bishop Deolav. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. Eivor, my friend. I asked around as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given the silver? Rodri's brother. We used the silver to take the crown himself by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Eivor, combat no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! This is Order your mistake! Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Goriad won't need the silver now. Help me with this fucking door!
Bishop Dale up know that the battle is done. You did yourself proud, Adeling. Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile.
What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury, scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I'll meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. As a Norse, I know I have little right to ask for your help. But I'm fighting to bring this war to an end. If you're truly fighting that devil, Rodri, I'll tell you what I know. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. Thank you. Hold a moment. If you need extra help... I may. Good Mercian men are working in that quarry. They all fought for Thane Merton. If you find yourself in a pitched fight, call out his name in praise. The workers will rally to you. God bless Thane Merton. Understood.
When Locan outpost, if I take the cargo here, the Britons will be weakened and want peace. Strafeth. I'm Vangos T. Cach. Are you ever cream by what?
Love's feared. More valuable than cargo. Thanks, friend. Give you freedom. Now give the Shire your pike. I will. That's done. Now to track down their supply line. Drag Rodri back to the peace table soon enough. I need your eyes, my friend.
Do you see, Sunan? quarry filled with Britain's supply carts. Once I burn those, it will push Rodri to peace. Go, Sunan. gentle if they spot me.
Ein Mertan! Cavando per pedão! These men will fight for us.
Blessed am I. needs you. Thank you. Could be in the hay. Free the prisoners to strengthen our field. Shirokshire needs you. Asked about this land, my friend. Jake Rothery to his senses. Now to Westbury, before Eva causes more problems. Show me what lies ahead.
If they see me, this will get messy. Show me. Smell that, Chailbert. There's Ivar. Chailbert, too. Rossioda? No, no. The air smells of distant thunder. Ivar, Chaelbeth. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. If we prevail here, Chaelbeth becomes Elderman. First an Aetherling, soon an Elderman, one day the king! Oh, you are jumping rank, boy! I hope to begin my tenure in peace, Ivar. Let us finish this here, once and for all. Even talks like an Elderman now! <laughs> oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Ah! I prefer sound and fury, but do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point in bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chaelbeth, listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Letterchester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. My blood is up. Look soon. It annoys the shit out of me when you don't listen. Eivor! Are you not done? Have you stopped to... Nap! Enough! I will have blood! Eivor! God. It's Eivor. You're a rabbit hound. Yeah. 
Should rid this place of soldiers. Less support for Rodri. Get a good view of our handiwork, Jailbert. Where in the name of Loki have you gone to? Hey, stay with me, would you? Join us, Eivor! Hey, Thanos! Whoa!
Look, Eivor! Did you see Chilbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Chilbert, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth! Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We have spilled enough to slake the thirst of Fenrir. Why stop there? Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing! I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or... fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. Look at all those delicious fish. Sure. Another eel. Almost enough for a hearty soup.
enough for now. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chaelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just. But I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Ivar should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard! He bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for road for his arrival. Rally your men and set up a camp, just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We've confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then, at long last, we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. 
Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbout must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Someone here must know. Have you seen Chailbeard? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Ardaling. Ask another. I'm looking for Chailbeard. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Ivar, it's done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chailbert? Want to pass on the good news? He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chailbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chailbert? Chail... Bert? Did none of you see Chelbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for three days, another for four. Then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself, but once or twice when I needed a quick word, I dumped him in the lake. It's worth a try. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. That's a low thing to do to a man. Hmm. I am looking for Chailbert. The soft Saxon boy? The next elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. Follow the stream up the mountain, south of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you.
What happened here? This doesn't look good. Tears of Freya. Uh, 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 Jailbears, you live. Uh, I... Uh, Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Gods. The Briton Crest. Keep breathing, boy. You haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Save your strength. Thank you. 
Hush, Gilbert. We'll soon be among friends. Dear love. By the hand of Thor. Is that the other? Eivor, what happened? No. No! You foolish boy, what did you do? I found him deep in a cave, beset by wolves. Eva. Easy, boy. Easy. E... Eva. Get me an axe, right fucking now! Eva. He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is, axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. The Britons did this. I found this blade in his chest. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolov, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolfkist. You spared that wet turd Leofrit. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. You'll want a Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rothre is holed up in Calstow Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. 
A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rotary to me. What has happened? How are you holding up, Bishop? I am gutted by this loss. Cherubert would have made a good elderman. And one day, finally, a king forged by Viking battle wisdom and Christian compassion. A formidable man he would have been. You men, mount up and follow me. There's work to be done. Known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodre's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. In Quadford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? It's not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. <sighs> they have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating, put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my Drangir, sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons? Clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived a saga worth ten. That I have. <laughs> that sweat sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one, all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. Evers men waste no time. They're eager to pay out our revenge. There's my liberator. I'll do you proud, I will. I've been waiting to get back at these Britons ever since you broke me from that cage, Dane. The time is nigh. Eivor, I'm ready to get back at them Britons. You'll not see me lagging behind doing nothing but looting corpses. Not this time. I am ready. 
What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Show yourself! I am here, boneless Ragnarsson. How is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crowfood! and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires. When I am done with Rotri, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. Boys, we will light it up in front of the gate. Ready your friends. Take the wagon to the gate. Tomorrow.
me. Shot now. Devour the boneless. Huh. You make a pitiful dragon. The rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? He's nothing now but a sad sack of flesh. Kill him and be done with it. Oh no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place. And a method. Come! All right. Let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Eivor, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rotary. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die. No, no, no. He must die with style. Dear King, stay with us. You must not miss what is coming.
I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Broderick. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish me. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Here we are. Bring him close. This way! up there to the top and keep him breathing finish this quickly Ivar see here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal the blood eagle Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. <laughs> that is a Norseman. The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He's doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. Between good and evil grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty, it is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs, and we spread them like wings. All of mercy, I can see him now. I've seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose... What a tale you have to tell! You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. 
Then... nothing. You sick fucking backrot! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. And become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was... Like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is a life, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! Reckless Ivar, a storm of mindless chaos. Mindless? Bleed like Shailbert! Mm. Feels... I have only begun to enjoy this. Hold a moment, Eivor. Let me ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Go again! My long road ends. The Valkyries approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Give it here! To Helheim with you. Eivor! Carry the body to Quartford. We'll say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Abba. Tell him. 
His brother is dead. Need to get on the other side.
Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Arbor. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace... I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rodri to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died defending a grievous lie. I cannot say that he's dying well. Ivar... I spent my whole life repairing the damage he inflicted. Still... He was my brother. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharat. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheowulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I am grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. One sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shropshire an ally. I should confer with Ranvi.
a good boy. Eivor. Ranvi, why did you leave? We could have returned together. We could have, but I was... restless. A quiet walk alone clears the head. And you do snore a little. Like a wounded bear. That's a lie. I had a wonderful time, Eivor. Thank you for your company. And your friendship. And you for yours. Now, shall we get back to it? We are allied with Sheriffshire, but at a... grievous cost. Young Chailbird was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. Evil. Petra, you have a look that could quiet the thunder. Is something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. Although I'm... Well, it's not easy. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, I really enjoyed the time we've spent together, Eivor. More than enjoyed. What I'm trying to say here is that I... I like you, Eivor. And I'd like to go further with you. I thought we might, you know, be together. I feel the same way, Petra. Gods, I was worried you would never feel the same. I mean, you're always away living adventures and... I always return home. What are you waiting for? Kiss me. Come over here. I'd like to see what you have in stock. Always a pleasure doing business, Eivor. This would suit you, I think. Nothing else? I must take my leave. So long. Don't be a stranger! Hi, Tabor!
that it? I'm off. Be well, friend. Until next we meet. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Eivor. Basim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. <laughs> 